go ahead and just start uh actually is it my idea or you forgot some of the clue tokens at the beginning yeah it's gonna just start it on a clue token i don't know if it i'm just gonna assume that's okay because i'm not gonna bother looking up at faq i mean um, so yeah i'll get i get started here some... and oh well I can also see about getting a co another common item, um, getting that going. Right. So I'll go ahead and get the clue token here, uh, as what I do for spawning. Mm -hmm. and, and then I will go ahead and roll this d6. Okay. I just got the feeling you might have forgotten some of the starting clue tokens, because there weren't any on Higan. Uh, it's only in places with red diamonds. Ah, okay. Those are red, any place with red diamonds are unstable, and those are the places where gates can appear. Oh, okay. And where monsters spawn. Alright, so I I get to start things off. Um, I did get the clue token there, so that's good. Um, I'm kind of tempted to go ahead and go to Corindo and hope to get something. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Corindo. Right. And what I can do here is, is instead of having an encounter, I can draw three common items and purchase one and discard the rest. I don't have very much money, but I do have my credit rating, so I technically have six uh, six dollars to spend. Yep. So one security deposit. Uh, uh, a tome and another safety deposit key. All right. Um, I can try to do luck checks with that, I guess. Um, exhaust and spend two infinite tokens to make a bullet check. Blah blah blah. Okay, well, well uh, I guess I will go. Ahead. Yeah, I'll go ahead and exhaust my um, my uh, my credit rating. Right. To just buy a safety deposit key for free. <laughs> what did that um, for Where the bank of Arkham? Uh, the bank of Arkham is at Sanzu River, which is probably all the way in the opposite end. Sanzu River. Oh, over there. It's actually quite oh, it's actually nearby. Close. That's good. Um, I mean, I still have to make like a, a. I have to roll two dice and hope I succeed, but it's not too bad otherwise. Anyway, the other two mm -hmm. cards get discarded. Um, and that is. Because I think I can only buy one at a time. Um, so, three. Of the one of the, yeah, I can, only well. I can only purchase one. Yep. Alright, um, it is your turn. Right, so I will. Mm, one, two, three. Probably should be like this. Right, um, might as well go to the, hi to the hidden house and hope <laughs> to not roll a one or two. We Yay! You're good, so you can keep this. So you're at four tokens. If you get one more, you can steal a gate. Uh, Alright, uh, so they're prep, uh, violet, I guess. This is the hidden house. Alright, uh, mm -hmm. you hear the voice of Moko from the next room, drawing nearer. You see that her back is to you, as she sits on the ground in deep meditation. If you wish to shake her out of it, lose two stamina. <laughs> if this does not knock you unconscious, take her ally card, <laughs> or if it's not available, take three blue tokens. So do you nice. wish to take two stamina? Yes. And, uh, alright, take your two stamina damage, and you, I'll go ahead and get, uh, Mo So basically, I... Broke her meditation and she basically just hit me. <laughs> Here is Moko gives you um, plus one luck, plus one fight, plus one sneak. But nice. you have to discard her if you get Kaguya. Well, I don't plan to get Kaguya, so. There you go. So that'll help out. Alright, good stuff. Um, probably. Uh, let's see. And I guess during your next upkeep phase, you can go and heal yourself. <laughs> mm hmm. Alright. So you're now first player, and we'll go ahead and do the next mythos. So I'm gonna go ahead and move some of these cards over. Yeah, now we have three luck. And actual one base fight. <laughs> uh, did you want to raise your fight? Eh. 
blue skies of against Tokyo. All investigators investigators receive minus one on their sneak score and plus one on their to their speed score. So we get to move faster, but we have harder time sneaking. Um, and we get a monster surge because a gate appears on the witch's house, but the witch's house already has a gate. Oh. Uh, so the way a monster surge works is it will spawn uh, a, a number of monsters equal to either the number of players or number of gates, whichever is higher. So in this case, we have three gates open, so it's going to be three monsters. But Keen's special ability is uh, whenever a monster surge occurs, one less monster appears for every two players rounded down. Since there's two of us, we reduce this down to two. Yay, it's two monsters. Yeah, every little helps. <laughs> uh -huh. so we're going to spawn two monsters. Um, and we get them. Definitely put one on the witch's house. So I guess we can put one right there. Yep. Actually, it's going to end up moving anyway, so I'll just put the other one on the witch's house as well. <laughs> All right. So the things that move are diamonds, which we don't have any, and circles. And circles are flying, so they're going to go this way. Oh. Uh, oh. Also, our monster limit is two, three. Four. We have five. Okay. We're we're. Yeah, we're right on the monster limit right now. So once we start, if we get any more monsters, they will start going to the outskirts. Yeah. Oh yeah, and this guy's pretty tough. <laughs> he, do yeah, not no fail kidding. combat against them, because he'll hit you for four. Even if you succeed on combat against them, you'll still take one wound. Yeah, which... So, have fun with that. Alright, uh, besides that, it is your turn. Hmm. You just got Moko. Um, uh, during your upkeep, do you wish to cast heal? Of course I do. Actually, before that, do you wish to move in your stats? Um, I'll probably need that. Uh, yeah, I'll help. Now you have like six fight, which is better than what you had before. Yeah. All right, so you're now to make a, you're gonna cast heal, I'm guessing. Yep. All right, so you'll exhaust it like this. So five. You can spend one sanity right now. So you're going to be down to 5, which is going to go back up soon. And you get casting modifier plus 1. So, so I get four. to roll 8 dice. <laughs> yeah, you get to roll 8 dice because you have 5 lore and you get plus 2 for the glass of Mortlin and plus 1 for the modifier. So Whee. all you have to do is get 1 success. Or actually, it's based off number of successes. So you just healed yourself to full. Yep. Every success will heal you 1, one stamina. You're back up to full. And um, because I well, success. So your sanity goes back to 1. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, so you're back to full. Good job. <laughs> Alright. Rani is a really good spellcaster. <laughs> yep. Um, right now your sneak is at zero, but your speed is at four now because of the uh, ethos of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually your well. speed is still at one because you have Moko. My speed? Yep. Ah, sneak. Well, your speed is at right. four. Your sneak is by one. Okay. Well, so where do you I'm go next? fairly sure I still can't beat that thing uh, you would have to you would have to roll you would have four dice to try to get three successes with hmm um, you can try getting another clue token to try to get your fifth yeah that's a good if, idea if you, in fact if you get that clue token and then if you close the go gate to the dreamlands you can get rid of that bug if I close oh they missed the lake gate Good idea. Yeah, because it's based it's, it's based on the same symbol. Yeah, let's go to the underground cave. Yep, you can move that far. So here's your clue token, but you gotta roll for it. Yep. Maybe it makes you work for your clues. That <laughs> is a three. You you do get get to keep it. All right. Barely. Also, for monster surges, the good the good news about monster surges is it doesn't make a doom token up here, so we didn't get another doom token. Yay. Um, so all right, this is Yokai Mountain. Uh, Yokai Mountain is white. Is white, I think. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, here, I got it. Uh, and you are in underground cave. Okay. What you thought was a mutilated corpse rises to attack you. A monster appears and ambushes you. However, if you defeat it, you can you also find something interesting nearby. All right, so draw a monster from this bag, and you get to fight. Wee. Like right that way. <laughs> A warlock. Okay, go ahead and flip it over. It, That's not. Oh God, wow. um, so it's okay. First, you need to make a will check. Mm-hmm. 
Minus one, so I roll three dice. And if you fail it, you lose one sand, which is not bad. I, at least it, at least we didn't get a really tough one. All right, and now you get to now you have to roll three dice for your combat. If you fail it, you take one wound. You have to get two successes. Two. Oh right. Yep, because it has two, it has two uh, little teardrop or blood drops. Well, I can probably spend clue tokens if I have to. Ooh. Wow, well, that's a fail. <laughs> you want to just take the wound, or do you want to spend clue tokens? Every clue token will only get you one die, though. Mm, I think I'll clue take tokens, the wound. Oh, yeah, All right, take one, and then this goes back to the cup. Uh, let's see. Let's see. How are you defeated? Uh, ambushes you. Hey, actually, uh, monster appears in bush, yeah. and finds something interesting nearby. Hmm. Okay, well, this one's gonna end up going to the outskirts after your fight. Okay. So what's gonna happen? It's just gonna hang out there for a while. Okay. All right. What to um, know? Now it's my turn. I'm all the way over here. This makes it fairly easy to explain why you got it can't be lost in time and space. <laughs> She's like, she's already uh, there! Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, for each. Okay. So it's gonna be for each of them I get. So I'm gonna have to roll a check for. Okay. Well, let's go to the. Um, hmm? The Sansu River. I'm gonna go to the Sansu River and I'm gonna go ahead and try to make my luck check. If I succeed, I get a unique item. If I fail, I get two clue tokens. So it's a win win. Yep. So let's go ahead and I get to roll two dice. Try to get one success. Hopefully this time I don't get another caster item. <laughs> yeah. I succeed, so I get a unique item. Good luck. I get a tome. It's awesome, spend two movement points to make a lore check. If you spend pass, draw one spell and gain one clue token, but lose two, but lose two sanity and then discard. If fail, nothing happens. Okay. Well, I can get more clue tokens. And, and spells. Discarded. And more spells. Okay. Well, that is it for that. So, so it's really just it an. Is, <laughs> yeah. It'll get me cl a clue token. That's really all that matters to me, I guess. Yeah. Um, Alright, so new round. Here we go again. Uh, hidden house. Hmm. That is where you've already taken the clue token from. Yay! This is uh, the city of the Great Race, and the monster that's spawning is going to go to the outskirts because we're already at the max. Okay. We have three because we have three in the freaking sky and then two <laughs> on the board. Um, and for the movement, nothing moves. Um, investigators who end their movement in Western Kansokia may roll a die on a success; they gain two um, two dollars. On a failure, they lose one dollar. Hmm. So that will require you to stop in the streets, which would be all the flying monsters will probably attack you at that point. Which, to be fair, they aren't exactly that difficult. Yeah, the, the, yeah. To be honest, the, the 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 flying monsters are actually the easy things. I can't. Right, um, and my movement is three, so I do kind of want to stop in there right now. Yeah. You have no way to increase your uh, your speed. That's a problem. <laughs> all right. Um, for mine. Uh, my turn, I will go ahead and, and is go right back to here, Corindo, and actually, sorry, I can, but it costs two movement to um, exhaust this, and I can, get, I can move one, so right now my movement is four, so I'm going to move this up one. Right. So I have two speed, three speed, and then I'll go ahead and exhaust the motorcycle. Okay. So I'll use three of my movement to go ahead and go mm. to Brindo. I'm gonna go ahead and use my other two movement to exhaust the tome and Oh actually I can't use the tome yet, it doesn't really, really matter. Screw it. No. So I'll just keep my yeah, I can't, I don't I, well it's the lore check is minus two, my lore is two. So it won't matter. Well you could so move that you could move that ring instead. Yeah, but then I wouldn't be able to make it to Brindo. <laughs> well, 
Yeah, yeah. with my, my vote. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and just go shopping, because I want a gun. That is a gun. Make up kits. And the automatic. Okay, so I can get the shotgun, which requires two hands to use, gives me plus four combat checks, and any sixes I roll count as two successes. Hmm. If I get the 45 automatic, it's only it, it uses one hand, but it gives a, just a raw plus four combat. And then there's the makeup kit, which gives you plus one to will checks, but not four uh, checks. And you can use it to avoid getting arrested. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and exhaust my credit rating, so I can save two dollars. Then I'll use my four bucks to go ahead and get the shotgun. Shotgun. Now I have a shotgun, <laughs> which will make my fight now seven. And any sixes count of two, count as two, so hmm. I might go ahead and go do some monster hunting soon. All right, um, and with that done, it is your turn. Right. So, as I was saying, when first do um, I want to move one anything? Thing can, I mean, one thing you do because you can only, can only move what three? Yeah. You can go to the Twilight Silver Lodge to get a clue token, or you can stop in Western Kinsokia to try to gamble and potentially get attacked by flying creatures. Well, I do kind of want to fight those things, and on the other side, it's not like I can lose money because I have none. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is true. Just so if you fight, you won't be able to move. <laughs> so you'll be stuck there for a little while if they do attack you. Okay. So I can just fight everyone on the same turn? <laughs> uh, you can fight one at a time, unfortunately, but that's fine. Oh, okay. It still reduces the amount of monsters are on the board. Um, go ahead and roll 1d6. Wee. And it's success! Okay, you got success, so you got $2. Yay! There you go. Alright, and that ends your round. Um, this is no longer exhausting. Oop. Okay, so you get to go first, and here's our next mythos. Yeah, it's the flying guys course. move. <laughs> yeah. Oh, flying guys do move. All right, and this also is gonna release a bunch of monsters. It also okay. Well, first let's do the gate. The gate at the bamboo forest. Thankfully, this I have a already enter. This is gonna spawn a monster in the outskirts. This is also also is gonna get us our fourth. One, two, three. Oh, actually, we should have gotten a doom token previous gate opening, so we're up to five now. Yep. And also two monsters are gonna appear in the human village, which means they're just gonna go to the outskirts. So we are at And one, the two, three, blue four, appears at four. the village commons. Um alright, right now we are okay on the um, outskirts for now. Yeah we also get a clue at the at the village, which is nice. But yeah right now we're at at five monsters yeah, we really need to start killing monsters. <laughs> eh, I mean, it's either you try to uh, prevent uh, them from awakening, or you try to prepare for the fight. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. you get two Migos. The other, I think, doesn't Vampire. move. Vampire does not move. Um, and nothing else moves. Okay. So, you get to start us off. So, do you want to go ahead and up your fight, or do you want to keep your will? Same. Uh, for the, this thing has a minus one to will check, and mm, I'm actually going to do this. Okay, so you're at five will. Okay, so we'll go ahead and have you fight the first ego, unless you want to sneak instead, which I prefer <laughs> not. No. <laughs> so you get to roll four uh, dice, five dice, because uh, or sorry, four dice. Yeah, for the for the sanity. Mm-hmm. Pass, and then five and dice for the combat. Yeah, five dice for combat. One from Moku and four from Martialis. If you succeed, you'll get a unique 